everyone welcome back to my channel so I've got a few little things to show you um, I've been doing quite well on my diet so something has been keeping me on track which I'm looking at it now it's not exactly revolutionary but it's been working for me um, I'm very lazy I don't like to prep things um, and I think because March has gone on so long with the bad weather I haven't really felt like it's summer's here Having said that, the last couple of days have perked up, so I think we're just going to literally go straight from winter to summer. And yeah, I just need to get my game on. So, um, these pre-prepped salads. Now, I know they're not for everybody, but they have kept me the last couple of days um, on track. So I've just been able to add a little bit of salad um to um a wrap and then use the rest of it with um you know if I've done a bit of fish or something like that I'll have it with a bit of um salad and quinoa it's really kept me on track so I know it's not ideal but whatever works and then the other little thing which I want to show you which I found while I was out I thought yay uh, 0% sugar eggs. So this is from Aldi. It was £2.49. I think it might be meant for um, diabetics. I'm not sure. But nevertheless, I thought, oh, that's good. High fibre, 0% sugar. So when I showed it to my friend, she said it probably tastes terrible. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to give it a go and I'll let you know how that turns out. So then the other thing that I got, which I was recommended by somebody at work, because I've been looking at the traffic lights as well on food, you know, the traffic light system. So this is all showing as green. And it's tomato and olive pasta. And I've got to say, I really love olives. I really do. Um, so, yeah, you can do this in the microwave, ready in a minute. I'm going to give it a go because again I think that would be really nice with fish um sticking with my diet trend I've got this lemon zero sugar drink um again from the Aldi um I'm going to give it a go I always wondered why because I love Fanta lemon Fanta limon I think they call it and I thought why don't they do a diet Fanta limon and a girl in work said to me, mm, well, if you think of diet drinks, they're not, a lemon would be very, she thinks it would be very acidic as a diet drink. So yeah, maybe that's why, but I'm going to give this a go because I spotted it and I do love Fanta lemon. Um, and then the other thing, Tango, I've just got to say thank you Tango, because they have really upped their sugar free. I love apple juice. I love apple juice, but again, it's something I've, I've never drunk for ages because I know it's very high sugar, and they've done a sugar-free apple juice, so thank you, Tango. Uh, and then the other thing that Tango have done, um, Paradise Punch. So I thought this was going to be a take on Lilt, and it kind of is and kind of isn't because I can taste the strawberry in this. So anybody that's been to Slimming World and done the Caribbean chicken, where you take your chicken breasts and you pour the can of lilt on with a can of chopped tomatoes and do your chicken thighs in that 20 minutes in the microwave. Um, put some um, pineapple in, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I will have that with the um, uh, the quinoa, the pre or the wholemeal rice um, from the Aldi. But this one is Paradise Punch, and you can kind of taste the strawberry in it. So I did this, a similar thing. I used it a can of this with chopped tomatoes over chicken thighs in the microwave last week. Good. I didn't put pineapple with it. I'll be honest, I didn't. I put a tangerine in, peeled a tangerine. Um, yeah, 
amazing. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Um, the other thing that I've been trying to do is not eat biscuits, obviously. So anybody that likes a little something after their main meal, which I do, I got these fibre bars. They're called Fibre Now. Uh, lemon drizzle. They do another flavour, which I can't remember, but it's something chocolate. I thought I'd get these for a change. They're 80 calories. And to be honest, let me show you what they look like. They're 80 calories. Um, they're just like that. And I just think they're really nice. After a meal, it sort of makes you feel like you've uh, had something. And also, I put over them, I do the banana one, um, because you can heat it. I do my banana yoghurt over one of those in the microwave for 30 seconds, and it's just like a dessert. Um, okay, so um, the other thing that I got um, is this, now you add it to water, it's called Vitality. And it's basically peach, mango and passion fruit. And you can just add this to plain water when you're out. Um, so again, no added sugar. And I think it just helps you to know while you're out and about that you're not drinking calories that you don't need to be having. <clears throat> so that's what I like about it. So I'm just going to show you... Um, Oh, can I just show you these as well? Turkey Oxo Cubes. So, at Christmas, uh, a few Christmases ago, I noticed the purple turkey gravy granules. And I tried them and oh, I just love I love them more than the chicken, um, the beef. I never buy the beef one now anyway, but I love them more than those. And then I noticed that uh, they have these turkey Oxo Cubes. So I did um, a stew the other day and I used these with chicken actually uh, and a load of veg and they're lovely. They're really nice. So Oxo Turkey, if you see those out about. Um, I'll just show you this as well. Um, I actually got this from a friend, Carol. So Carol, if you're looking, this is yours. So she said to me, oh, I love that chocolate, those little bars of chocolate that you get. So this is the little bars of chocolate she's talking about. So there's five bars of chocolate in here. Oh, no, there is five. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, there is five in there. And they're, they're just enough so that you feel like you've had some chocolate and you're not going completely berserk. Because if you're given a bar like that, there's no way you're just going to eat a few. You, th you think to yourself, oh, I'll just have a, a row. I'll just have two rows. Before you know it, three quarters of the bar's gone. So I like it because I just have... A little bit of the bar and um, it's 133 calories in one of the bars but they taste gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so Carol that is yours um, and then last but not least as you all know my daughter out in um, lives out in Scandinavia she lives in Stockholm in Sweden and she absolutely loves these spearmint shoes. So Chloe, these are for you. <laughs> um, one little thing I wanted to show you that I got, sort of another thing that I, that I think keeps you on track is not, well, yeah, spoiling yourself, but um, having nice dishes and things to eat out of so you don't feel like you're missing out or making do. So this acacia wood is something that I've seen around quite a quite a bit. This so I thought oh, I'll get myself a nice salad bowl. Um, so yeah, this was um, eight pounds from B and M. They had another design as well, but I particularly liked that one because I thought just my own little salad and what have you in there, um, and yeah. I just really liked it and I thought that was really good value, £8 from B&M. And then also my daughter and her hubby have just moved into a brand new apartment. So 
it's quite expensive to post things out there and I've got quite a lot of baby clothes to post so I thought I'd just pop these in with the baby clothes and it's just three printed tea towels and these were 2 .99 in um the Aldi but they're really nice in fact I'm going to go back and see if I can get one for myself because I think they go in my own kitchen uh, am I, I'm in the kitchen now I think they go in my kitchen um yeah so they've just got different you know different things on them uh, and I thought they were quite good value so I got them so just a few little beauty products that I'm going to show you oh yeah just one little thing that I wanted to show you um about the washing doing the washing so I wore a brand a couple of videos back you'll see that I bought a jacket from Primark a really nice summer blue jacket and I wore it for work um because it looked really nice with um I had like a cream top and a cream skirt and I wore this summer blue jacket because yeah it just really it did look nice um but I ended up with makeup here on both sides of it and I wasn't too happy about that and um, I thought god what am I going to do about that anyway um, my friend said to me you want to try pink stuff okay so I got this I've never used it game changer I sprayed it on literally sprayed it on and left it and then because it's a dry clean jacket so I couldn't put it in the wash so I sprayed it on, made a cup of coffee, gave it another bit of a spray, went and drank half a cup of coffee, came back to it and I had a brand new clean dishcloth, never used, soft white dishcloth, um, as I say brand new and I rubbed it over the makeup, came off like that turned it over, used the other side to wipe the other side, came off straight away. It's like the jacket's never been worn. So shout out to Pink Stuff. If you've got anything that you're trying to get a mark off, um, yeah, this is fab. Leading me on to this, which um, I am guilty of often just going for the cheapest fabric conditioner. Um, but I got one recently. I, I can't. If I, I could remember the name of it, I'd tell you because I had to rewash all the clothes because the smell was so awful. Yeah, I threw it away and I actually can't remember which one it was. I thought which I should do because to know not to get it again. Anyway, it's made me smell them all in advance. Um, so I smelt this one. Surf Passion Bloom and it's concentrate so it makes double. Ah, it's absolutely gorgeous, really nice. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you know about that. So, just a couple of beauty products as well that I'm going to let you know about. So, first of all, you can see my hair. What an absolute, oh, yeah, don't even mention the hair right now. It's just doing its own thing but one of the things um that i find really good for pulling out my hair because i've actually naturally got very curly hair is these brushes okay so i got this brush now this is not the size i usually i use a bigger one than this and they're quite hard to get <clears throat> so this one is from home bargains but i use the bigger size again which is uh, well you can only get them in Primark I think or maybe a big chemist um, but I like these ones they're metal because they conduct the heat and I got this slightly smaller one <clears throat> just to try and do the very because right what was happening to on one of my previous videos I told you that these keep breaking off and I think it's because I keep applying direct heat with the tongs so I thought, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and catch them on this and blow dry them, which, because I only use a medium heat, I don't use a high heat, and I think it's going to help the hair to grow. 
so that's why I got that. Um, I also use this for cleaning my face. So I've never used soap on my face in many years, um, but it's um, deep cleansing lotion. So um, I use this. I use a, a an actual makeup remover to get my mascara off, and then I will um, splash my face with water, and then I'll use this on a makeup pad to to get all my makeup off. Uh, and I really rate that. So just a couple of other things that I bought um, this week, which I thought I'd show you. So when I was in the old day, um, I'd seen something about a, a, a Tom Ford dupe. So I went looking for it, and it's this. I don't know if you can see that. It's not. Ooh. It is sandalwood and jasmine. Eau de Parfum. It's really nice. The Tom Ford dupe, I can't remember the name of it, but that's £110 and this was five. So if you see that, give it a go. And um, the other thing I got was some super serum, super strength formula uh, for dry skin moisturising serum. And this is from Home Bargains. This was um, £1.99 or £2.99. Um, but it's really nice. I really like that. Um, I got another one as well while I was there because I thought I'd try them both. And this is the salicylic acid and sea kelp. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'll let you know how it goes. Is that coming out? And that was two ninety nine. And then you know, with my teeth, I've told you with my teeth. Um, I'm pretty funny about what I use on my teeth. Um. I drink way too much coffee. Um, I am trying to drink more. Well, this week I've only mainly drunk water. Been good. Uh, but I use this tooth powder over my toothpaste. So I use toothpaste and then I use this Ucrol. Um, because I do think it brings them up a little bit more and freshens your mouth. And then the last thing on my beauty products. I just got some Imperial Leather um, bath soak. Because... Yeah, that smells nice. Um, yeah, when I do, I tend to take showers, but when I do have a bath, I like to have some nice bubble bath. And that's got a really nice smell. So I like that one. So then, um, I've got a couple of garden projects for Easter. So just showing you a couple of little bits that I've got for that. So the, the first one I want to show you is this. Okay, so this is called Sodium hyperchlorate and I was put onto this um, about three years ago by a work colleague and he was ordering some online and I'd never heard of it because um, when I was married my husband always just used the karcher and I just carried on with the pressure washer and he said oh you won't need a pressure washer when you start using this so um, anyway he ordered me some and it turned up and, well, yeah, I've never looked back. I don't use a pressure washer at all. So I get four of them. They come in a package of four because of the area that I want to do. And the very first year I ordered um, the uh, sprayer and that's still going strong because I always clean it out. And you literally put that on your path and... You can see it working in front of you. You just dilute it in the sprayer. So I use 50-50, but they say to use like 25% to 75% water, but I use 50-50, which I know it's a strong mix, but listen, it works. And where I am, because the garden's surrounded by trees, there is a lot of moss builds up in the winter. So yeah, I mean, when I do it, I'll do a video on it and I will show you the before and after because it is quite a dramatic difference. So if you've got a path that you really want to get clean without a lot of effort, you need to get yourself some sodium hypochlorite. The only thing that you will also have to get is the sprayer and honestly, the mask. You need the mask because 
there's a lot of fumes with it and wear old clothes because it does splash onto your clothes and it will bleach out your leggings or whatever you're wearing make sure you've got socks that will come up over your leggings and you've got shoes that you don't care about so the other thing that i've got i swear by this if you've never used it jay's fluid um, again i put it in a sprayer I spray the outdoor furniture, leave them for a bit and then I just hose them down and this cleans up every time. And I've got this, okay, it's UPVC Restorer, I've never used it before but I've got it for the porch. Um, last year I think I used vinegar, I think I used white vinegar, I can't remember um, and yeah it cleaned it up but somebody said to me you want to try this stuff because it's really good so look I'm gonna try it I don't know I've not tried it yet but I'll let you know and then last but not least um, anyone that knows me knows that um, out the front of the house I use false flowers um, I've got a full-time job I do a lot of stuff I'm a bit of a busy bee um, I do love gardening but yeah I wouldn't say I've got green fingers so I struggle to keep things alive so I do use a lot of false flowers um, but you know what I don't think it looks too bad I mean I, I buy realistic looking so I've got this for over the door for Easter so this was from B&M and it was £8 See that? and this is just to hang it on so that goes over the door and that hangs it on there. Um, yeah, so that's another project. And then last but not least, I've got a couple of um, things just to show you that I got. Because as you know, me and my friend Carol, we do like going in the charity shops. So I found a little um, Disney doll. Um, so the things that I like about these is that the eyes are soft, they're like sewn on, they're not going to come off in a child's mouth. So um, yeah, I, I got this one. I don't actually know who she is, like somebody might be able to tell me. I don't know who she is, but I think my little granddaughter will really like her. And then for my grandson, again, I haven't got a clue who this is. <laughs> <laughs> but he likes all these sort of action figures and uh, when I see them and I think oh yeah I like that one I get them and then last but not least for me I got a little top so this top was 5 99 God, the light on this is terrible today and it's got sheer sleeves so the sleeves themselves are very sheer and the top is white and it's got like a white lining. So I think that'll be nice over jeans or something like that. So yeah, that's what I've got today. So um, I hope you've enjoyed my little haul and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.